Scott, um, what did you make of that game? What, what are your reflections? Yeah, um, there's a little big echo in here. Um, well, congratulations to them. They just they just played better than us. That's really the bottom line. They just played better from us throughout the entire game and executed what they wanted to get done. And we just were uh, not with it across the board in some areas um, and just got beat. I mean, that's really as easy as you can say it. Um, but I thought I thought the Kings were very good and very solid and, and on point. And um, it was just kind of a grinding game for us um, where we just really couldn't uh, sustain anything um, that we could live off of. So um, that's where we're at. The turnover is uncharacteristic for, for your team. I think it's the most you've ever had in oh. a game over the last okay. over the, over the, over the three years. I mean, what do you, was it their defense? Was it you being a little bit careless and not, not being with it like a hell? Or what do you put that down to? Well, I mean, I want to credit them. They, they were in the passing lanes and knocking some passes down, and we were sloppy with the ball and a little loose with it. Um, that's an interesting stat. That's the most we've ever had. But um, uh, yeah, they, they, you know, they, they made things difficult on us, and um, I think we were just a little sloppy and, and um, you know, turned into obviously turnovers against them and live ball turnovers are really hard to recover from uh, in general. And um, um, yeah, I think it was just more a uh, combination of them uh, playing very well against us and us being a little sloppy and, and, and lazy in some passing areas. This is probably a silly question because I know you don't want to use any excuses, but how challenging is it to come back from the trip to Perth, play on the Sunday afternoon, and play against a team that's fresh and hasn't played, played in seven days? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think it's. I mean, if I, I guess I look at it both ways from a coaching standpoint. Obviously, it doesn't matter to me because I'm not playing. Uh, from a player standpoint, I, I, the players want to play, in my opinion. So I think it's just great that you have a chance to go play right away. And our travel from Perth was, uh, although. Uh, we got back here around five or six in the evening. It was a direct flight, and um, it was all good. So uh, there's no excuses on that end, other than the fact that um, uh, we just didn't play as well as we'd like to, obviously. And and they were very good, but the the flight and all that had zero to do with anything. Dad, what did you make of the game out there today? Uh, yeah, I think Scott touched on most of the points. They did a great job of making us uncomfortable and disrupting us, and I think that kind of lends itself to us having, you know, not taking care of the ball uh, as well as we can. And But, yeah, we had a couple of slip-ups, um, defensive uh, mistakes, which is, you know, we just got to make sure they, those can't happen. So, yeah, all the, credit, all the credit goes to them. You know, they made us uncomfortable and they came here and took the win. That's kind of, I guess it just shows how tight this league is. I mean, coming to this weekend, you, you were in, in great form and playing some terrific basketball on a winning streak. And, now you've dropped a couple of, couple of tight games. It just shows how, how tight this league is. Yeah, 100%. Um, we know going into every single game, there are no easy games in this league. Um, every team, you have to, every game, you have to be ready to play your best. Otherwise, you're, you're not giving yourselves a chance to come out with a win. So, yeah, it's a very, very tight league. Every, every game's tough. So, and, and that's just how it's going to be for the rest of the season. You have to go in bringing your best. Otherwise, you probably won't win. Now, all of a sudden, next week, you come up against the yeah, absolutely. I think it just just goes to show, like, any, anyone can beat anyone. They've been playing some really good basketball, and you know we'll go and work hard this week, prepare as best as we can to go into a place that will probably be rocking. They're they're feeling really good. You know they're playing some good basketball. So um, yeah, it's it's as you just said, it's a testament to the level of the league. I know you don't look ahead, Scott, but now that you do get a chance to look ahead to next week, what are your thoughts on? Two massive games now, you know, the Hawks, and then you come back home to play, play on Christmas. <laughs> well, I don't want to disappoint you, but I really can't even think that far away. I'm just excited to get home this evening, turn on Netflix, watch Billy the Kid. I'm in episode three. That's my plan. Tomorrow's a day off for us. Tuesday, we'll go back to work. I can't see past. Uh, Tonight, to enjoy myself watching Billy the Kid. Sounds good. That's it for me. Thanks. <laughs> Jane, hope anything? No, I think Mikey covered it. Thank you. Oh, Mike, nice. so uh, Fab 150 games. Have you reflected mm. on the game? One, one. Good one. <laughs> Very good um, one. Um, have you reflected on it? Um, yeah, a little bit. You know, it was. 
bit, a bit surprised when, when he texted me the other day telling me it was coming up. Uh, happens quick, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit of reflection on um, the last couple, six years, I guess. But uh, just let me be grateful for everything, all the teammates you know, and relationships that have uh, come from playing this playing this game. It's, it's pretty awesome that, you know, 28 years old and still playing the game I was playing when I was six years old. So, um, yeah, every day you just got to be... I guess grateful for the opportunity to play this game and as you said, it's um, yeah, just nice to reflect on, on everything, all the relationships made and you know, again to go to work with a great group of people and it's no different this year. Um, every day coming into the gym is always good fun and getting, getting to work with you know, people you, you love being around, it's, it's, it's really special. So uh, yeah, it's awesome. You've been as, as far north as you can go mm -hmm. and as far south as... Um, did you play three years in each? Have, uh... Yeah, you know, it was yeah. big, you know, Cairns was, was great for me coming out of college and allowed me to really grow as a basketball player and as a, as a teammate. So um, I really enjoyed my time there and, um, you know, uh, just learned so much about being professional. And then, you know, the last three, well, yeah, the last three years down here have just been, um, you know, incredible to see the growth of this club and to, to play a small role in it. It's um yeah it's been really it's been really good and just see the community around us every day here in Ho in Hobart and the, in the state it's um every time we travel it's it's you know it's really special and I think it's unlike any any other place in the league so just really grateful to be uh play a small part in it. Beautiful. Well said. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Abby.